why do some people have pain and some people don't have pain? For instance, somebody could get an x-ray or an MRI and the MRIs look exactly the same and one person has pain and one person doesn't. Right, it's a good question. What most people don't realize is what causes joint pain, what causes most of the physical structural pain in the human body is the firing of the nerve endings in the ligaments. All the joints basically are surrounded by ligaments. I think this is one of my original models that I got from Dr. Hemwell. So this is probably 40 years old, this model. But you could see like all these ligaments that surround the hip joint. So ligaments are supposed to be like ropes. So they're very, very tight. So the nerve endings in the ligaments, they're not supposed to stretch much. When you have laxity in the ligaments, you have hypermobility, you have instability, or you have ligament degeneration, which is called ligamentosis, or you have a ligament tear, the ligaments then stretch more. So when the ligaments stretch more, the stretching of the ligament causes a firing of the nerve endings in the ligaments, and that's what gives you pain. And then there's a reflex from that nerve that goes to the muscles that causes a tightening of the muscles and of course tightening of the muscles causes stiffness and that can cause pain too. So there's two mechanisms. So I just want to go through the neurology if you will of the ligaments. So I'm actually going to I'm actually going to go to the, to my second slide first. So there's certain nerve endings in the ligaments. So the nerve endings are Raffini-like receptors, Golgi tendon, encapsulated Pacinian-like corpuscles. Most of the receptors, the nerves in the ligaments are found in the distal portion of the ligament. The distal portion of the ligament, that's what gets injured when you're at the extremes of motion. So when you're at the extreme of motion, like I'm starting to feel a little bit of a pain here, the nerve endings fire. Why? Because they're like, don't go farther, don't go farther, otherwise I'm going to tear and the joint might dislocate. The mechanoreceptor density is greatest at the periphery and progressively decreases toward the center. So again, that's to protect the person from extreme uh, range of motion or extreme forces so then the person doesn't do the force anymore because if they keep doing the force, the ligament's going to tear and then the joint might dislocate. The mechanoreceptor concentration density is greatest in the areas of the extremes of motion. That's what we talked about. Mechanoreceptors probably represent the first line of defense in sensing extreme motion. Afferent discharges from the mechanoreceptors elicit support from the mechanoreceptors which then discharge in the muscles. So basically that's what I talked about in the ligament muscular reflex. So in summary, most of the nerves in the ligaments are where the ligaments attach to the bone. They are gonna fire when there's too much force at the ligament and at the extremes of motion to protect from ligament damage and the joint dislocating. When the nerve supply to the ligament is injured, the ligament doesn't heal so well. So the ligaments have a nerve supply too. So sometimes as a prolotherapist, I actually have to address the nerve that goes to the ligament to get the ligament to regenerate optimally. Nerves within the ligaments are responsible for most of the pain of joint instability. The nerve density within the ligaments of a joint are concentrated in the most important stabilizing ligaments. So in the hip joint, it's the iliofemoral ligament. So it means that the most important ligament in the hip is the ligament in the front of the hip that has the most amount of nerve endings. So that's one way that you know which ligaments are the most important. So that would be the main ligaments that we would regenerate with prolotherapy. For those who are watching me for the first time, prolotherapy is an injection technique that causes the tightening and strengthening of ligaments to resolve joint instability. Joint instability, and most joint instability is ligamentous joint instability. It means that the ligaments are not strong enough to resist destructive joint motions. So prolotherapy resolves the destructive joint motions of joint instability. 
And once you resolve those excessive motions or destructive joint motions, the arthritic process stops. When they've done MRIs sequentially in people without any problem, and they're just looking at what's the very first lesion that starts the arthritic process, it's actually an injury or an abnormality on MRI where the ligament attaches to the bone. So that's what we're talking about this. So osteoarthritis starts with injury or an abnormality where the ligament attaches to the bone, and that's called the antheses. When we do prolotherapy, prolotherapy is done where the ligament attaches to the bone. So you're getting at the very root cause of osteoarthritis. The nerve density within an individual ligament can also vary with the importance of which part of the ligament is the most under strain. Now normally that's where the ligament attaches to the bone, but in certain situations it can be in the middle of the ligament. Prolotherapy is so effective at resolving chronic pain because it tightens the ligaments, and when the ligaments are tight, the nerve endings within the ligaments don't fire anymore, and of course then the pain goes away. 